Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this, I'm glad you're here watching. This is one of the pieces that got shipped back from Computer Reset from the weekend that Clint from LGR. And I'm going to say I think Dave Murray of the 8-Bit Guy who was there on Saturday, but I'm not sure. I flew down from New York. Eh, the cat's not really interested in any of this stuff, but she does like boxes. So anyway, this was the one piece of hardware that I shipped back from Garland. The rest of it was software, and that's going to be here tomorrow. So I thought kind of to whet your appetites, especially since it's been a while since I've posted an unwrapped or even unwrapped impromptu video. So I'm going to open, crack this open in a minute, but I wanted to preface that with some things for those of you who may not have signed up to make the journey to Garland to go to Computer Reset. Don't let it bother you that you're late to the buffet, because I'll tell you what, after seeing Clint's initial video about computer reset in the warehouse i was not in a financial position certainly i was in a in a job that i did like but i was only making half of the money i kept putting it off and then watching noel's update about you know what's going on in the warehouse and about how much work has been put into getting things where they are and how there's so much so much to do but really need to kind of get this wrapped up and hopefully by the end of April. So this is what I have to say about that. Is even though I was two years late to the buffet, there was stuff there as you're going through and things are getting reshuffled and unboxed that I didn't think I was going to find. Like, I found shrink-wrapped copies of the IBM-branded VisiCalc. I find... Uh, I found... Um, shrink-wrapped disk operating systems. We found shrink-wrapped Xenix development kits. IBM-branded in the, you know, the cloth binder Xenix development kits hardware that because I had flown down I didn't want to spend too much on hardware uh, to ship back so I only had a couple of unicorn pieces where I thought hey if I find these I will incur shipping them back but there's still plenty of stuff there take the trip for me it's kind of like a technical pilgrimage plus there's other stuff in Dallas there's some great food uh, the people recommended Jay's Burgers and Breakfast, which was really good. Also, the National Video Game Museum, which at least in terms of the time you need to go through and enjoy it is kind of like a computer reset in itself. You are going to need a couple of hours. So there's more to do than just a computer reset, but computer reset being you the mission to go. So, all right, with that in mind, let me figure out where I set um, the knife. And uh, if I can find the tripod, we'll try to set the tripod up and uh, get this open here. Well, I wasn't able to get my tripod set up the way I wanted. Of course, my uh, retro home office is somewhat of a train wreck right now. And hopefully, you can get it back in some kind of order soon. So anyway, I cut the tape, but before I open this up, it says I do want to say thank you to Noel, thank you to the volunteers at Computer Reset, and particular thanks to uh, Sergio for helping me pack and tape up and figure out a way to get these finds to the frozen white north of New York, which is 60, where I am, 60 miles south of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So I was, was going through the, the warehouse. I happened to find this uh, Pro Printer in the box. 
It looked like it was successful because there was a piece of, uh, you know, somebody had printed a, a directory listing, ribbon cartridge, and uh, this binary synchronous communications adapter was not in the printer box, but it was one of the other pieces of unicorn type hardware that I was looking for. So I figured, you know what, stick it in the box. And right here were some uh, BNC to RJ45 connections. Go figure. I did happen to snag a couple of those. So no documentation, but that was all right. Um, to my surprise, this uh, the Pro Printer is a Pro Printer X24E. So it's not the ultra wide carriage, but it is the 24 pin Pro Printer. And I'm hoping with that in mind, um, it doesn't have uh, the problem with the print head. Because I've read there were some 24 pin printers that uh, if you printed a whole lot without letting the print head cool, that the pins and the print head would actually melt together. And of course, uh, that's absolutely no good. So I'm going to end the video here for right now, but it'll pick up just uh, in a little bit after I get this uh, printer out of the box and uh, set up on the sawhorse workbench I've got underneath it. Well, it certainly looks like I learned my lesson here. I didn't uh, actually rip into the Pro Printer when I found it in the box. So I'm guessing maybe that's what this Pro Printer had gone in for service for uh, was a problem with the printhead because the printhead is actually missing from the assembly. Quite a bit of rust in here on the, the bars, but nothing that I think would be too bad, which is kind of unfortunate because the the printer itself is actually in some pretty good shape. I mean, the plastics are good. The control panel is good. You don't see that too often on anything anymore. So I guess if anybody happens to have a, a print head, a working print head for an X24E, reach out and get in touch.